to start our inverted high pass filter, we should copy merge our layers again. So control A, control shift C and paste it again. And we gonna call it high pass filter. Keep in mind to zoom in the picture and then go to other and high pass. And now let's look for the texture in our problem area. Start with a lower number and in increase the radius once you see some details in your problematic area. Keep in mind that the number that you set on a high pass needs to be divided by three to work well with the Gaussian blur filter that we're going to apply on the same layer after the high pass filter. So I think on 12, it looks okay. We have some nice details and we have some, some nice texture going on. Let's see, let's click OK, then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and hit 4. Click OK. Then we need to invert the, the image. Let's go to Image, Adjustment, Invert. After we did this, let's go again on the Linear Light. And I know it looks funny, but let's just check our texture here. Now it looks funny, but the image is not gonna stay like this. We're just gonna apply a layer mask and invert it so we can hide the layer. Now we can paint, go on the brush, and we can paint with white on our uh, black mask. So let's see how it's going here. Go on the brush, decrease the opacity a little bit. Decrease the size. We can increase the opacity a little bit. And I'm just going, we are not applying this on the whole image. We are just applying this on the areas between the mid-tones or the highlights and the hard shadows. We just want to soften the edge of the shadow a little bit. Look at this. This is before and this is after. We're just softening this shadow. Also here on the forehead. Let's increase our brush size, our feather. Look at this. Also, we can do it under the eyes a little bit. here on the jawline. I think we can apply this filter also here on the arm. Whatever you see a hard shadow. This is a very small detail is not very noticeable, but it adds up to the refinement of the image. And this is what most of the professional are doing in the image. And I think we're done. If you feel like it's too obvious, we can go back with the opacity a little bit. 
This is what we're talking about. This is the level of detail that makes your image stand out from the crowd. Let's see if we can also soften this edge a little bit. Great. Now you just learn how to create an inverted high pass filter. Now let's move on with our edit, but not before we are going to save again our picture. Control S and our image is saved before they're edited.